Christina, a Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Erin Condren haul. I have been trying already to sort out which kind of planner, and I think I have it. I'm, I'm enjoying the life planner with the spiral. I tend to not like spirals in life in general. This one is working for me. I do like that you can add things in between with the pop in, pop out. You can change the covers, you can do all of that. But this is the 15 month hourly. It is quite thick as you can see. So all of the little sleeves and um, pouches and things that I've been trying to use when I'm traveling or going around for the day or whatever, nothing fits it because it's it's wider, you know, because of the spiral and whatnot. So I went back to Erin Conjure and I figured it's their planner. They must have the folios. I had seen them, but hadn't been interested because I tried to use what I had first. Not that I don't shop and love to shop anyway, but anyhow. So I got a box and I've untaped it, but I haven't opened it. Let's see what I came up with um, and it should work. Oh, okay, so we've got a newsletter and it does have a coupon code on the front. Um, I can't remember who it was that told me that when I had gotten a first couple and they were all the same. I didn't even know before there was a coupon code. So if you get one, don't throw it away straight away. It's 20% off. So that was good to know. All right, yay, stuff. All right, let me pull all this out and then we'll go through what, what I got. All right. So first and foremost, let's go through the folio. So it's a layers, layers colorful cover, even though I customized it with my channel icon. So I got a layers colorful folio, cause you know, matchy matchy. Um, but I did customize it and all the customization was, was to put my name. So I got Xena, Warthog, Princess. Um, yeah, and there was, if I used the other category versus first name, last name, I was able to put my full warthog and princess with a space between it. On the other one I did, it didn't have that option. And so it's just got no space, but I got all the letters in. So whatever. Um, I kind of thought it would be this on both sides, just like this is, right? But it's not. It's black on the back. That's okay. I mean, you easily know what's the front, what's the back. That's for sure. On the back, it does have this little, I'm assuming faux leather tab. Hi, Kelly, come on. She's so very helpful lately, huh? I know it's late at night and we should be in bed, but that's a whole nother story, which we'll talk about in another video. Okay, it's not that late anyways, but okay. It has a zipper, zips around. I've never seen this in person. So this will be our, it's very thin though. So I wonder, how that's gonna work, well, we'll see in a minute. But it's a neoprene type material. It's a thick neoprene, kind of like a wetsuit. Not the heftiest, I don't know if we're talking mils, one mil, three mil, five mil, I don't know, it'd be in the middle maybe. Um, but yeah, so it's a neoprene cover. You open it up, that it's just straight. So it is very flexible, that's cool. Um, then it has this, Elastify, this is just what I thought based on the pictures, although it would have been nicer to see more. We've got a loose thread, or not loose thread, but we got a loose end here. Hang on. Okay. So, because I got my planner cart right here, got all my nifty tools. All right, so I assume that the planner slides in right here, like so. Yeah, that makes sense. And it must stretch a little because, huh, you do kind of have to stretch it a, a little bit. But I think it is, it obviously is the correct size. So there you go. And I like that there's not a lot of slop. It didn't require a lot of stretching. I think it'll loosen up just a little bit anyway. Um, but it is, it is bigger than it looks when you first pick it up. And it's slim profile, so I think this will be great for when I put this into a bag and then I don't have to worry about stuff getting all in between my pages or pages getting bent or spirals. Yeah, this is gonna be great. I am really glad I got this. So if you're a spiral planner person and you don't have something to put them in when you're running around, 
I do recommend these. And it's not that bad of a price. Like, what was it? I don't know, 20 bucks. I don't have a, doesn't come with an, <laughs> an inventory thing. Okay, but what else does this offer? It has, on this top part, it has a slip here, and that goes all the way to the bottom. So, let's see, I wanna bring my plastic ruler. I can just stick that right in there. It does have two smaller slips, more like a card slot, vertical and horizontal. So, not that wide, but it would hold like some stickers, maybe a couple of little things. And then two pen elastics right here. And they are kind of tight, like one is a little thicker than the other. But let's just take a slim, oh, that's not a slim pen. We'll take this slim, <laughs> my old government skill craft pen. And it is a very, maybe it's, it works. So that, that's thin pen slot, and then the other one's a little thicker, easier. Okay, so there you go. And I think mostly I'll just use that, maybe I'll use this. And you could also put some loose papers like behind the planner or between the planner and that top cover just to keep them in the folio or you can just lay them on top. Let's see, is this too big? Okay, so we've got that one and I'll just set that aside. I actually got a second one. I wasn't sure if I'd like the colors. I also thought that, you know, I like to have a backup for something like that. And, and next year's planner, when that comes, you're gonna have overlap. I still wanna protect them both, whatever. I'm thinking outside the box, perhaps. But this one, I wanted, I really wanted one that I could put just my channel icon picture on. And that's what I was gonna use as the cover. I thought that would be fun. Unfortunately though, the picture size, quality, whatever, wasn't sufficient for the needs that you have to have. Um, and I don't know those tech specs or whatever. I just know I uploaded it and it said it's not sufficient and I was mobile. So anyways, I didn't mess with it. I tried a different picture and of course it worked. The picture I chose is the cactus in my backyard. It's a big old ball cactus. And then there's these, um, I don't know, it's not an organ pipe cactus, but this year was the first time in all of the years I've owned this house that I've actually been around when the thing bloomed. And as you can see, it was just amazing these bold, beautiful blooms, and they didn't last long. When they came out, they came out quickly, and within a day or two, they were gone. But you can see right here, there's another nub that bloomed later, and this is an older bloom that had already bloomed and then died off. Um, so it happened within a few days, it would go from this to something in between, to this, to this, in a, in a, in a week. I mean, it was easy. But this picture doesn't really do it justice. The blooms are just very vivid. And then here on the bottom, you can see what I was talking about. I did get Xena Warthog Princess, but there's no space here because of the way the number of characters it was limited to. That's totally fine. You do get to pick on both of these. You can pick the color of print that you want on it. Um, you, you didn't get to pick that there's this background thing there or what color that is. but. Yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with it. So I have my own personalized, one-of-a-kind um, folio cover. And inside is the same as the other, I assume. Let's look. Um, you also get to pick what, what metallic you want your zipper. So you want it rose or, um, I don't even know what all the colors were, but as you know already, I'm a silver girl. So silver all the way for me, or what looks like silver. Yeah, it's the same. It's exactly the same inside. So I can change my mood, I can change my cover. Um, yeah, so there you go. Other things that I got, I got a pencil case, which is, you know, I, I really need to read dimensions on this stuff. I did for the folio to make sure that it was the right size. But this is bigger than I expected because, you know, I have a couple of things kind of like this from Amazon. Um, and so here's my other one from Amazon. I, I have two, one is bigger, but this is from Home Cube. These are great. I'll show you this one first if you haven't seen it. It's a double zipper, unzips. You have a zipper pouch, a flat pouch with the Velcro. You have slots, which you can put pens or other things. Um, and then you just have this open space and then there's this little edge, which I have an eraser tucked in there. So. I've used this a bunch of different ways, but this whole thing would fit inside of here. Also, this is not so structured as this one. This one has a little bit of structure to it. This is just neoprene all the way. So 
it has form to it, but it's it's soft and flimsy. But I actually kind of like that. I do. I didn't expect it, but I like it. I did not expect it to be the same material as the folio. Probably should have read the details a little closer. Okay, but this zipper is a little, oh, it's a little tight. I'm not gonna like that. Maybe it'll loosen up or maybe I need to wax it or something, but that is way too, way too tight to have to have two hands to open that sucker. Okay, we got paper. We don't need paper. But sure enough, it's a similar style. Okay, so on the top you have a split top, so I guess you can put things in the top. I don't know what you would put up in there. Uh, I wonder. I'll hold my ruler. Uh, yeah, kind of. It's just barely long enough. Way too tight a fit to do that regularly, but I could give it some structure by putting that in the top. Yeah, that's just not going to last, though. No, I can't get it out. I can, of course. Okay, whatever. We'll figure it out. But this one has elastics on the top and on the bottom, so I could do some set spots for certain things like maybe you want your pastels on this side your bold colors on the other or your colors on one and your black and blue on the other whatever you want to do and then the bottom is just a base where you just have loose pens or tools of whatever kind in there so when i travel i'm going to take one of these cubes or possibly the bag one yeah but you need white out you need some colors you need some highlighters you need pencil whatever so yay and boo. Uh, I also did get this personalized, same as the other piece. So Cena War Dog Princess. And unfortunately, I don't know if I mistyped it or if they screwed it up, but I, probably I mistyped it somehow. But Princess only has one S and it's jammed up in the corner. So maybe what I did and did not realize because I went back and forth a bunch of different times trying to figure out the settings. I think this was before I figured out that it might have to take away the space to get the extra letter. In any case, I know who I am, so that's okay. All right, uh, the cool thing about this though is it's big. Uh, I can put other things in it. Before we get to this, I wanna do these first. So these are jumbo paper clips. They are bigger than I thought they were. Again, you know, I, I didn't even look at the dimensions. I looked at what they are and knew that they were oversized and that was what I was looking for. I also thought they were a set of two. There's actually four in here. So instead of getting six, I got 12 <laughs> because they're all double up. So I got three sets, but I think these are gonna be great, great, great use. These are not going to go to waste at all. I love them already and I haven't even touched them yet. So, what they are, they're just bookmarks, essentially. That's what I got them for anyway. It's a paper clip to mark your pages. If I can get to them. They're really well packaged. Okay, so, we don't need that box anymore. So look how big they are, they're, they're huge. <laughs> okay, but I needed paper page markers. I have the magnetic ones and they mark the page, yes, but finding it quickly with your finger to turn to the page hasn't been as easy as I'd like it to be. So let's take a look. Here is my quarterly dailies. Um, so four different dailies. I have a pen there. Um, let's just pull up. Uh, let's go to today because I'm behind, but November, so today is November, what, 16th, 15th. Okay, so today's the 15th. As you can see, I didn't journal anything the last couple days. But if I took one of these and I maybe clipped the whole freaking front half of the book, that clip can accommodate it. That is a lot of pages. It's, uh, it's, it's half the journal because look, we happen to be in the middle of this book. So half of the journal easily fits in one clip. You can find your page, like you just put your thumb or your finger on that clip and flip right to your page. That's what I'm talking about. And if you don't clip quite as many pages in there, 
Um, I assume, you know, let's clip just, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five pages. Yeah, and it's not gonna kink your pages because it's not tight at all, but it'll stay in there. And now I have that and I'm like, okay, let's go to today. There it is. Or maybe I'm saving a place because I had something logged back here. There was a recipe. Let me find an actual recipe that I had saved. Here's one. So I'm just gonna mark this page and I'm gonna mark it vertical up here. So let's say, okay, the vertical clip, I'm gonna go to that. There's my recipe, wrong side of it, but there it is in the blue. So yay. So you can have multiple markers, like maybe you're gonna mark the, the months you want your, these are quarter, so there's multiple months in here. Maybe you wanna mark the beginning of November, the beginning of December, yeah. I could go on and on. Lots and lots of ideas and ways to use it, but for sure they will get use. And I don't know how durable they're going to be. They're like a, they sound like metal, but like aluminum or something. I don't know what they're made of. Let's see what it says. Take your desk accessories to the next level with this set of jumbo paper clips. Sparkling gold metallic transforms function into fashion. This set is perfect for marking a page in your planner or notebook or simply holding large papers together. Includes four jumbo paper clips, four inches metal paper clip. It doesn't say what metal. And that's fine. They are what I thought they were. They're just a little bigger and there's more of them. And those aren't bad qualities. Not in this case anyway. So yay, paper clips, bookmarks. That's what I'm using them for. And they won't just work for planners, they'll work for other books and things too. So, yay. Okay, we don't need that either. All right, so the last thing that I got, because I started with the petite planners, which I like, but I had the monthlies and then I had the dailies and I like them and I'm using them, but they're not exactly what I really want for my all the time every day. And then I really like the hourly with the 15 month that I have in the spiral that we looked at, what I got the folio for, but that is very big and bulky. So, you know, I don't want to keep going back and forth between the petite and that one, dual tracking everything. I will because I, I'm figuring it out still. Um, so anyway, I thought I would try the little one. And this is a soft, soft bound, but also in layers because there's a trend going there. Plus this is a brand new style. But here's what I was thinking. I thought, you know, I could track a daily at home and on big trips and take that one. But when I'm using, for example, a trolley crossbody, a small bag, but I still need to have my calendar with me, this allows me to do that. So. You know, yeah, it's not gonna be all decorated, that's fine, but it's very functional so that I have what I need on the go with me. So, let's look at how this is set up. So, it's soft bound, but it's, you know, it's rigid. It'll hold its shape and form. You open it up, you have your title page, you have your two-year view of your big picture. And then the very next page is January, and this starts January of 21, so that's good. I have time to figure it out. I know you can't see very well because of the lighting, but there's January, so it's your monthly view. And as is Erin Condren standard, um, it will have the previous month's days lined up here, like in a lighter gray, and then the first starts. And then it gets to the end of the month when you run out of days. It, they still fill all the squares with the following months numbers. What I have been doing in my bigger planners that I'm decorating is I just white out those numbers in the previous and, and following months so that I only see the month of because I can count backwards if I need to. Um, but that allows me to just use that space for decoration. In this case, I would probably use that space for notes. It does have a notes column on the side here, but it's very small. So this requires small writing. You're not going to put a lot of details on here, but you could put like 1030 doctor, um, you may even put the name, you know, but you can't put a whole lot in the boxes, but you can follow your schedule. You can draw a line showing that you're out of town that week, that kind of thing. So this is where my colored pens will come in handy. So you have your monthly view. The next page is um, notes. It has monthly goals, important dates. So monthly goals, important dates, and to do. So it's, it's divided. 
and then you just have a blank notes page. Then you go right into your weekly view. So it shows the whole week. You have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday are small. So I assume that's gonna be the trend all the way throughout week after week, yep. So you get to the end, you have another two note pages and you go right into February. So it, it'll go like that for month after month and then it does have, has a bookmark, a ribbon bookmark that you can move around and use how you see fit. It also, it doesn't have like this, not tabbed pages. I do have tabs, I certainly can tab it. Um, either with Erin Condren or I have some smaller ones that could even be cut more so you can quickly go from one month to the next and it probably will do that. But if you look at the side of the pages, you can see it, um, it has a colored mark. It's not raised or stick out. It's not a tab, but it is colored. So if you're, if you're scrolling through like this, you can see the months. You see that as they go down like that. Let me see if I can see they start at the bottom of the page and they're they're moving up. Yeah, so if you're looking at it like this and you scroll the pages like this, you, you can see those month tabs and then stop on the month that you want. Okay, that'll work. Uh, you've got these giant paper clips, which will be stupendous. Okay, so if I put it in laterally though, it will definitely stick out. That's not necessarily a bad thing because boy, you really can find that page. You just flip right to it. Or if you put it on the top, you know, oops, that was too close to the edge. So you put it right down the middle of the page. It's gigantic, but by golly, you can find that page. It's a little thick for this book, but it would work. Yeah, so probably not my primary use for them. But you do have a bookmark, and then at the end here, let's see, September, October, November, this one doesn't have a lot of wasted pages. When you get to the very end of December, then you have, I don't know, it looks like about 10 pages or so of just blank notes, lined notes pages, like that. So this is gonna be great. This is gonna be my gap coverage. So I might take on a medium-sized bag day. I might just take the petite planner. So I have the little bit bigger view. I have some of my fun decorations and colors. If I'm taking a smaller bag, I'll take this one. Um, if I'm full up, I'll take in a big Vera tote or something. I'll take my full big planner with me. So now I have three different options. I think that's a bit excessive. <laughs> you know, you really, I've always, I've always had one calendar and it was like this would be double the thickness, but the kind of calendar I always carried because I had no fluff. It was just straight up, what do I need to know? But anyway, so that's what I've been up to with planners. I do have another video for tonight. It would be a completely different um, topic and something we haven't really talked that much about. Um, so more to come on that. But thanks for watching. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope that your week is even better. I know that the COVID numbers are going up pretty much everywhere. So be careful, be safe, be smart. Don't be a super spreader over the holidays. Um, but don't be sad and lonely either. You know, be Take care of yourself, whatever that means to you. All right, wash your hands. Bye for now.